Adontes, have you heard of engagement optimized matchmaking? Do you believe Rad uses it? This is my theory. A lot of you would call me a conspiracy theorist for it, but I don't think I am. Riot Games is a billion dollar company. And one of the biggest things that keeps players hooked to their game is the matchmaking. Is it not? It's the desire to climb. It's the desire to like get better. It's the desire to improve. It's the desire to climb. So you're telling me that after all these years, Riot doesn't have a very, very advanced matchmaking model? Go on Professor right now. And you'll see that if you open up a guy's OPGG, or if you open up a guy's profile, it'll say like bad warder, dies a lot early, uh, never wards, fucking uh, always takes uh, aggressive trades, right? And then you'll see for junglers like, oh, this guy perma farms, this guy spam ganks. It, it gives you all these things, right? Oh, yeah, I'm good. So it's like, the thing that you guys have to understand is, do you not think that Riot operates in a similar manner? Think about it. Do you guys not think that at one point, Riot has its own classifications that it gives to players? Oh, this player is very aggressive, and he uh, ganks a lot early, and this player is a bad warder. If I pair this one against this one, we have a much higher likelihood of winning or losing. Right? So it's like, what you guys have to understand is that, with the sites that are observable whose main attraction isn't even the site itself, right? Like, do you really think for a second that Riot doesn't, <laughs> that Riot doesn't have something infinitely more in-depth and infinitely more complex? Right? But then people are going to sit there and be like, oh, dude, you're just, you're just making things up, dude. You're making excuses. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, I've literally been playing this game 12 hours a day for years, right? Like, you'd think that I don't pick up on things, I don't notice things. That you have, like, five games in a row where the enemy team will fucking sit there and they'll invade you. And for your last 20 games, you never got invaded a single time. And you're there like, what the fuck? Like, why did I randomly get invaded five games in a row? What are the chances of that? Well, it's almost like five games in a row, they put players who they knew were more likely to invade you. Or you're going to have it so that, like, let's say five games in a row, you're against people. How many times have you sat there and you get two one-tricks on the same team? One guy mains Rengar jungle, the other mains Rengar top. Or two Hecarim one-tricks who are on the same team. I've seen that many times. You're telling me at one point Riot doesn't sit there and also look at, like, the ban likelihood of players as well? Oh, this guy's on a win streak, so it's put him against someone who's more likely to ban the champion he plays? Do you think that's actually, like, outlandish to think? <laughs> they don't give a fuck, dude. Then you don't understand how business works. Simple as that. If you think Riot doesn't care about matchmaking, which is their unironic biggest thing that they should care about, and they are a business that needs to maintain a player base so that they can make money, you are retarded. Genuinely retarded. Like, I don't know what to tell you. In-game, you're a fucking retard. And uh, Dom Luso, Therian the Prime, welcome. And uh, call me Therian the Prime, welcome. Thank you. How am I today? I'm chilling. You're overthinking it. Oh my god, dude. Dude, you're overthinking it. A multi-billion dollar company would never sit there and have an advanced matchmaking AI that makes it so that their players have to grind harder to achieve the same result if they're on win streaks and things like that. You're overthinking it, dude. One of the most critical part of a game is its matchmaking system. And if you think that Riot actually sits there and puts time and thought into how it runs, you're just delusional, dude. Retarded. Retarded. You know what I mean? Like, retarded. And, uh, so see, the prime welcome. Thank you. Your point has been proven. They banned Hecarim. Well, this is a bit of a different scenario because it's because the enemy team has somebody who's probably on RT Moss game. So now they're doing it, right? Some Namnas. The uh, deal. Thanks for that, Ha ha ha! Funny. What do I walk in here? I think I just go Kindred, right? 
Let me just run up on the kindred. Three head, it's random. Four head, it's rigged. Five head, it's random. It's just not true, though. Like, I'm being serious when I say this is... Okay, so, like, this is unironically the reason why I would always get in arguments with people in high school about incest. You guys are a perfect example of why. Is because people in, at my high school were incapable of critical thinking. Unironically.